Jay Gamlin from Jacob's Porch uh, Campus Mission at Ohio State University. Um, it's a hallmark of the postmodern millennial, whatever you want to call it, generation of a deep distrust of institution and of corporate nature of church. And, uh, you know, the whole idea of uh, I don't believe in organized religion. I always just tell them, come to our church. It's the most disorganized church you've ever been to. But, um, uh, but uh, and, a, and a, a great majority of the members who attend my congregation don't come from a Lutheran background. Uh, they come from a wide variety of church and unchurch backgrounds. And so when they ask me, why Lutheran? Um, it's a question I would like to pose to you. Why Lutheran, and maybe even more specifically, why Evangelical Lutheran Church in America? Well, uh, for me, uh, and I want to say this respectful, um, that to be Lutheran is to always define ourselves in relationship to others, not what sets us apart from others. So I always get nervous when people say, make the case for being Lutheran. Because one of the cases for being Lutheran is we always see ourselves first in relationship to others in the body of Christ. We're probably one of the most ecumenical church bodies, if not the most, in the United States right now. Because we relentlessly will first define ourselves in how we're related to you, not what sets us apart. So I want to begin there, because I think that's distinctive. But I also think that I don't meet anybody these days when I stop long enough to hear the hungers of their heart, the longings in their life, that woven into however they express those, I don't hear a longing for the experience of a gracious God, a God who embraces you not because finally of the longings of your heart or the way you articulate your faith or the way you advocate in Washington or the way you serve your neighbor, but because that's the nature of this God who embraces us in Jesus the Christ. And I also don't know many people who aren't longing for some sense of intimacy in community and relationships in their life. And to be Lutheran is to understand that this God who has claimed me and named me by name in the waters of baptism hasn't chosen to develop a relationship that's just with Mark Hansen but is so gracious that God always is restoring me to community. Not just the community of the church called the body of Christ, but the community of humanity and the community we are in relationship to God's creation. And in the midst of that clear proclamation of the gospel, that I can live with ambiguity. One of the reasons I'm a Lutheran is the word and. And that word and doesn't go over very big in the American religious context. Fundamentalism offers a certainty that I cannot find as a Lutheran Christian, but I find as a Lutheran Christian confidence, confide, trust that God will be faithful so I can believe that at the same moment today I am both saint and sinner, that this world is at the same moment good and fallen, that the word of God is God's word of judgment and word of promise, that Jesus is both human and divine, that God rules over creation through the law for the sake of order and justice and through the gospel for the sake of reconciliation and salvation, that we are a new creation in Christ, and that a new creation in Christ is entrusted with the ministry and message of reconciliation that we bring to the whole world. And that I can live with paradox. Paradox for me is what seems to be a contradiction when first heard, when contemplated more deeply, reveals a hidden truth. And at the core of the paradox for us is the cross. That this almighty creating God has chosen to become so vulnerable in God's desire to be in relationship to us and the creation that God bent so low that God took on my flesh and yours and we crucified him because we don't want a God that's so vulnerable and so all-loving and God said, you tried your best on that cross and I got one better. I have raised Jesus from the dead and he is alive in the world and now go to meet him in the surprising places of your life and the most unexpected faces you will encounter. That's some of the gifts we bring. Mm 